what next for Bayern? As you can see, our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, is alongside me. So, Carve, who will Bayern be targeting for this sporting realignment, as they call it? Well, their number one choice to take over from Thomas Tuchel in the summer is the Bayer Leverkusen head coach, Xabi Alonso. Now, of course, he is a man in demand because he's doing such a fabulous job uh, at Leverkusen. He took over when they were near the relegation zone. Now, I think they're something like eight points clear at the top of the Bundesliga. They're on course to win a treble uh, this season. Now, as far as uh, Alonso is concerned, he's got a contract for I think another two and a half years at Leverkusen and last week their sporting director Simon Rolfes said that he was confident that Alonso would stay at Leverkusen but I've just got a feeling that he has a gentleman's agreement that if a club uh, like Bayern Munich, like Liverpool, like Real Madrid come along, then I don't think Leverkusen would stand in his way. And what's very interesting this afternoon is that Sky Germany are reporting that there's already been contact between Bayern Munich and Alonso's representatives. But I think in the short term, Alonso is just focusing on Leverkusen. He wants to make sure that they end the season well. Who knows, maybe win the German title for the first time ever. Tell you what, to have suitors like Bayern, Liverpool, Real Madrid, you know you're doing a good job. And, and let's just put this in context with this man here. Bayern have dominated German football. You know, the last decade, they've been the team, top of the Bundesliga at the end of the season. So if Alonso pulls this off with that eight-point lead, as you say, then it is a significant achievement. So Liverpool certainly in the mix for uh, Alonso's services. He's already received from, some serious backing from, from Jurgen Klopp, hasn't he? Yeah, I think last week Jurgen Klopp said that if you were talking in general terms about the sort of up-and-coming young managers, then Xabi Alonso, he said, is the standout. He is the one who is really making waves in European football. And it's no secret that he is very close to the top, if not the top uh, candidate to take over from Klopp himself at, at Liverpool. Liverpool are going through a very sort of detailed recruitment process analysing everything, looking at all the data. But pretty much everyone in football thinks that once they've analysed the data, they're going to come up with Xabi Alonso as their preferred target to take over from Jurgen Klopp in the summer. What's interesting, of course, is is it all going to be down to Xabi Alonso to decide where he goes next? Or will he even decide to stay at Leverkusen. If he wins the title, if he wins the treble at Leverkusen, might he think, look, I'm building something here. It's too early in my career to take the next step. Oh. Or will he think, or will he think, I had great times uh, at Liverpool. I won the Champions League. Uh, I think my son is a Liverpool supporter. I loved living there. I consider myself to be a Liverpool supporter as well. That's the club for me. Or will he think, no, I'm going to go to Bayern Munich. I used to play for them as well. Yeah. Won lots of trophies there. Will it be down to him? Will it just be an emotional decision for him to say, I want to go to Liverpool, I want to go to Bayern Munich, or yeah. I'm going to stay at Leverkusen? Or will I wait for the Real Madrid job uh, to become available sometime well, in the, the future? that's the thing, isn't it? Because, because Ancelotti renewed. I mean, there was links with him in the Brazil national team job, but that didn't end up sort of panning out that way. It could have been three actual suitors needing to fill a vacancy, but, but not, not right now. But, my goodness, I'd imagine staying at Leverkusen is probably, probably the longest of the odds in terms of the, the options available to him. Um, you mentioned Jurgen Klopp. Well, what about him? I mean, is there any chance, Kyrie, that he could end up at Bayern next season? I think it's impossible. And that is coming from his own representative. Uh, his own agent was speaking today, and he said... Uh, to our colleagues at Sky Germany, look, Jurgen Klopp will not be managing anyone for at least 12 months. He's made up his mind. Once he leaves Liverpool, he needs a break for at least a year. So rule out him moving to Bayern Munich. But I think it's going to be very, very interesting this summer because so many jobs are available and so many big-name managers are out there looking for work as well. I'm thinking of the Barcelona job, the Bayern Munich job, the Liverpool job. And then you look at the managers who are out there, people like Jose Mourinho, yeah. Antonio Conte, uh, Thomas Tuchel as well. So it could be a very, very interesting summer when it comes to the managerial merry-go-round. Yeah, yeah.